Doubles. J Dog back to answer more goddamn questions. First, we got some paid questions for quickies. Uh, actually, but the first one, it's an email. It's not really a paid question. It's from Michael Hedrick. He gave me a paid question, uh, what, yesterday or whatever? I went over it, but he also sent this by email then, too, to the service email. I was like, yeah, I'll go over it, too. Uh, so Michael Hedrick, you guys recognize him. He's done a bunch of order questions, shit like that. And he sends me this screenshot. Looks like from fucking uh, some goddamn pink panties, as usual. Somebody, uh, what did he say? He just says, possible dumb dumb of the day comment, today's video. But he said that on November 9th, so two days ago was when he sent me this. <laughs> I don't fucking remember what goddamn video November 9th was. But from a uh, screenshot of uh, from the commenter Red Spool. And his comment was, Hmph, Luck of the Corpse, you mean the album where they straight up rip off much of the music from Kill Em All and Ride the Lightning? Question mark. And King supposedly hates that band. Poser. And I just like, yeah, I mean, I didn't think a whole lot of it, all that comment that uh, when Michael sent it, but I'm just like, Put it in there. Am I the only guy? Like, wh who the fuck has ever listened to Luck of the Course and heard Kill Em All or Goddamn Ride the Lightning by any stretch? Uh, Trying to even think like that. That's actually part of the reason I thought Deceased was so great is that they didn't sound like anybody. But who would you say they're more reminiscent to? I'm sure King would say some of his influences like Voivod or something. I don't even hear that. Man. Granted, I'm not the hugest follower of Voivod, so maybe you know some material that I don't, that they, there's some of that in there. Um... But especially on luck, maybe you can ar or make the argument on blueprints for madness because it's a little bit super unique, and Voivod's kind of known for using doing that. But on luck of the corpse, where the fuck do you hear ride the lightning and kill them all at all? And this, this to me sounds like a potential fucking poser. That, but it sounds a little weird. That's hard to say because then if he knows what luck of the corpse is, or is he trying to just fit in? You know those posers where they, uh, you're in the fucking room. Or something gets brought up and they actually legitimately hear something or you play something for them by accident or they, they somehow hear it and you're in the same goddamn room once. This has happened to me before a few times. Like, it all sounds like Slayer. Or they bring up, usually it's Slayer, Metallica, Megadeth. Usually there's those. And it's like, dude, you're only saying that because it's the only fast, aggressive music you've heard other than that. I'm not going to mention any goddamn names. Not that anybody on this channel would know it, but they know who I am and I doubt they watch my shit. I just don't want to get back to them fucking making bullshit for the dog. But somebody I know, this was a long fucking time ago, that's what he said. He's like, let's just say it was at the warehouse and I was playing tunes and, it, and that was his thing. It, just, it all sounds like Slayer. And it was literally I think like, <clears throat> don't quote me what bands, it was like Sinister playing, Exum Exhumed Maybe like some black metal. I can't remember example, but shit that had nothing to do with Slayer. It's one thing if, you know, I put on Insane, Wait and Pray. Sounds like Slayer. You betcha, brah, brah. Best goddamn Slayer worship project you'll ever motherfucking hear. Or Hellbringer. Uh, that second album they did, what is it, Awakened by whatever. Fantastic fucking album. Goddamn Hell Awaits ripoff like a motherfucker. Goddamn is it great. You don't allow them, check it out. I forget what it's fucking called. Dog owns it, of course. CDLP. But I'm drawing a blank on the guy. Awaken of Dominions. Dominions of the Awaken. Because they had two albums. I remember their first album not being as good, although I've been mean to go back and listen to it. Um, but that's I think it's the second full length. Uh, it was on High Roller Records. Um the one that sounds exactly like Hello Waits. You'll know when you fucking hear it. It is fan fucking tastic. Banger. But it wasn't like I was playing that. What it is, I conclude, and I'm just like, and I don't want to beat up on the guy too hard because I do like him. It's just like, dude, you're only saying that because I know what he likes. He knows, and he did get legitimately in the 80s, maybe like uh, Rain and Blood and stuff. But, dude, he, he doesn't know who Cannibal is, put it that way. He doesn't know who Seven Churches is. He knows the bigger bands, dude. He knows, and he for sure knows Anthrax. I definitely like some Anthrax. Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer, Maiden, Sabbath. And then, but then he doesn't know either, dude. He likes God smack. Fuck it. He's the guy. <laughs> He's the guy who likes Mushroom Head. And me and fucking Craig, when Craig was working at Hell's, brought it up like, uh, dude, did you, you, you rip on the fucking homeboys rap? You, you, by most people's definition, a full blown goddamn racist. Granted, that's debatable who you fucking ask, but some would make that argument that he is. But he likes Mushroom Head. And he's like, yeah, Mushroom Head's good. And, and, and even I was like, dude, that's like, I was like, dude, that's like 50% like 
commercial metal and 50% rap mixed in the game. He's like, how do you, where's the rap at? I hate rap. What are you talking about? Even Craig just, dude, come on, man. He's like, dude, he raps like a motherfucker on that shit. He's like, he doesn't, whether you like it or not, let's just say you like that kind of stuff. There's nothing. That's the problem. I don't even care if you're the most extremist of extremists. If fucking Big Willie and Mortician's like, you know, man, yeah, you like some mushroom head on the side. I wouldn't be looking at him like he's an idiot. I'm like, he knows all the real shit, but he would know that it's rapid. And that's what these clueless guys, they come in like they know this shit. Look at the corpse sounds like rain and blood. It's like, no, that's rain and blood is just the fastest and heaviest thing you've ever fucking heard. So you have nothing else to compare. You're like, oh, wow, other fast, aggressive shit. Yeah, this is kind of like Slayer. That's what I get the impression with this Red Spool guy. But yeah, the mushroom head comments, it's like, where's the, and dude, he was dumbfounded. Where's the rap at? What the fuck, dude? A deaf man can hear the goddamn rap on that shit. Again, I'm not saying it's full Tupac beginning to end. It does have guitars and shit, but the singing lingo is very rappy in lots of the parts. Not all. And granted, I don't have all the shit memorized, but just like in Slipknot, same thing. This is so brutal, dude. That's what the kids in fucking high school said. Well, I remember specifically one. Well, I actually kind of liked them too. Worked with them at the goddamn BK and went to the vocational school to them. So, oh man, that shit's so brutal. I'm like, don't be using my word, motherfucker. Brutal is the tish. Brutal is cross the sticks. Brutal is fucking tuned the mutilated. That's brutal, brah, brah. Tales of necrophilia. That's fucking brutal. Slipknot, how is rapping and shit brutal? Forget if you even like it. I don't even care if you like it or not. It's another point. Your terminology is way off. They're rapping. And then when you bring up people, how, how so? Like, dude, how is it not? Again, not beginning to end. I'm not saying it's complete just bass beats and fucking snoop. I'm not saying that. But it is literally rapped, rap music mixed in with co what I would call commercial metal music. That is what it is. That is what Limp Bizkit is. That is what Corn is. That is what Slipknot is. That is what fucking... uh. A mushroom head is. It, 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 whether you like it or not, it's just that's not a debate. That's what the fuck it is. So, having said that, this guy, but the fact, it, it, I'm getting the vibe that he's seen this channel a couple times and he YouTube a luck of the corpse, and that's how he knows what it is. Because, and, and the looper guy who legitimately knows what that is and maybe just not a fan of it would not say it sounds like Slayer. The, the argument that I heard of people that don't like deceased and shit, but they're in the loop is they thought it was, uh, the album was kind of boring. They didn't like the recording. Thought it was maybe a little bit stale. Thought maybe it wasn't as brutal as the other 90s shit because they're comparing it to like, you know, goddamn suffocation, butchered at birth, sinister, some of the more brutal death metal. Uh, that's, that's what uh, So those comparisons, I'm like, okay, I can see where you're coming from. What, it sounds like Metallica? That No, it's just Metallica's all you know, dude. That's the most metal thing you know, which is, Piss fucking poor to say the goddamn fucking least. So Red Spool, get fucking lost and fucking suck a dick. Pound salt, jump in a lake, not in the fire, brah, brah. Totally full of shit. What the fuck am I reading this off for? Well, that comes next, goddamn. Pay questions come first. Check out this. I don't want to beat up on him too hard, but talk about a goddamn bozo right fucking here. A potential paid question. I emailed him. He didn't get back to me. I'm going to I emailed him an hour ago. But, uh, Here's a shout out for you. Dalton Montgomery. <laughs> Get a good laugh at this one, Devil. Let's talk about a goddamn box of chocolates over here. He's doing a paid question. I'm assuming so. He sends me a money request. And it says, I get a PayPal, you owe $10. It just says in the subject line, bra bra. I'm like, dude, the fucking deal is you pay me 10 bucks to answer your question. I don't pay you $10 to answer your question. I'd be getting requests like a motherfucker in this case. j is giving out free $10. Just send me your question. I'd pay you 10 bucks. I'd be getting 100 of those a day. I'd be out of business in no time. <laughs> Guy sends me a request. Uh, but nonetheless, man, that was, uh, I got a good goddamn laugh out of that one. I'm just going to assume operator error. You click the wrong button. Or you're not used to using PayPal. Granted, it's very fucking user friendly, but, uh, yeah, I, I as you noticed, I canceled that request. <laughs> and that's meant to even put the goddamn question in there either. It just said, bra, bra. Well, what the fuck? Uh, maybe it was just, maybe it was a tip for the dog as a shout out. I don't know. But nonetheless, dog was laughing. Derek Kowalski. Hey, question. Hey, dude, what is your opinion on Black Mass of Absu? Question mark. Never heard of them, never listened to them. I did, but when you sent me the link, though. It is an older band with a unique sound. Perhaps a bit doomy for you. Pretty much, but I'll get to that in a second. Maybe not. Definitely evil. The soundtrack for the Church of Satan. 
I will send you a, a link. Stay brutal, Derek Kowalski. Yeah, I listened to your goddamn track for the most part. It was like eight minutes long. Um, and then I listened to a uh, YouTube track, and what came up was Cold Corpse of Christ, Dragged Across Coals, or some bullshit. Initially, the first 10 seconds, I'm like, oh, God, here we go. <sighs> I know where this is fucking going. Uh, but as I listen in with the keyboards and shit, I'm like, it does sound pretty cool. Is it something I would regularly want to listen to? No, but it was somewhat enjoyable. What I can see is, what I can honestly say is, if I listen to their whole catalog, which I doubt I will, they probably have two or three songs that are probably really unique and cool that I would enjoy, but the rest of it's kind of like monotonous and just like, ah, eh, it's just too much for me. Uh, that's the conclusion more than likely would it be. However, as a whole, it did sound unique, evil, dark, and uh, and just, you know, fits the bill and, yeah, just has its own goddamn charisma character. I think it's a good thing that you could play on, like, for example, if you were uh, Halloween, if you were to hand out uh, candy, you get those houses. And granted, I wish my house was one of them, but mm, got a bunch of fucking wimps around at the time. Just can't fucking do it. I, me personally, because we hand out candy. Well, kind of do. Well, we do, but I'm kind of not always in the vicinity. But nonetheless, the goddamn dog says, yeah, we should have the fucking Tish playing in the background. Blast and Tish. Because you go to houses, you walk around, because I slightly do that with like our nascent shit, where people are playing music, you know, outside. They're, they're decorated, they're playing music, handing out candy, which is cool. But it's always the, 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 the norm. It's either something completely fucking stupid, like Monster Mash, where it's like, I get it, like, fine. Or um, or Halloween, or um, Nightmare on Elm Street, which I get. It's like, well, yay, man, that's goddamn original. Man, you go to the goddamn Tish fucking play in the background. Or another thing would be fitting Acid Witch, something very Halloween feel feeling. But if something dark and spooky and sinister, this um, Black Mass, uh, uh, what the fuck ever it's called, if Sue, um, that would be fitting. It would sound sinister, and you know no motherfuckers on your goddamn street be playing that, so I think it's fitting for that. But is it something that the dog's gonna throw on the goddamn player in the car, fucking one arm on the wheel, climb back, homeboy style, arm out the goddamn fucking window? Get to that goddamn pay toll booth. That'll be four fifty. Blasting. Fuck yeah. What do you think of the tunes, Holmes? Pam. No. Fuck no. That's not what I'm be having on. No. But uh, I won't make that real goddamn trip. I'll fall fucking asleep. So it ha it has its place, but it's nothing. If you ever come down to Hell's Warehouse, don't plas don't plan on hearing that in the background. The dog blasting if he's there. Cold victory. Uh, that's what his goddamn PayPal said. So I don't know what the fuck your name is, Barbara, but that's what it was. A uh, cold victory. Sup, devil? Please listen to the album Indoctrine by Blood Revolt. I know we've had that in stock before. And tell tell us what you think. If you heard it, tell us what you think. Thanks. So I did listen to it, YouTubed it, and uh, I, I totally recognize the name. I was like, oh, I know we've had this in stock before. Saw the cover on YouTube. I'm like, this, no, nothing was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just a bland cover and a name, just Blood, another Blood band. So didn't scream, check me out, dog, check me out. So I didn't, right? But I listened to it, and uh, starts up, starts up. I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah. It's that, it's that style of music the dog prefers. Blasting fucking, like, you know, death metal. Similar to, like, first band that comes to my mind is maybe something like Flesh Ties, where it's it's not quite like Chrissy and her Angel Corpse, but it's got that slight Morbid Angel feel, but they're not quite trying to be like Morbid Angel, but it's, you know, it's got the blast and shit, and it's, it's got something going on, not monotonous bullshit, which is blast. Oh, yeah, this sound like this is going to be a goddamn fucking winner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dude! Goes into some some fucking clean fucking vag boy vocals. I'm like, this don't fit the bill at all. So I'm listening. I'm like, just an intro. Just trying to make a goddamn point. Still a little bit. I would have cut this part, but whatever. It's getting better. It's getting better. The death throat's coming. It's coming. It wasn't coming. 60 seconds in. I'm like, come on, man. This fucking sucks. I'm like, let me take that scroll to 10 minutes and 22 seconds or something. Singing like a little girl. Clean vocals. That ain't death metal, brah, brah. Death metal is fucking growling, raspy, fucking squeals, screams. All That's why it's called Death Throat. We weren't playing the thrash metal band, I guess, going for something of uniqueness, playing that death metal kind of music with clean vocals. Yeah, we're doing something original, dog. Yeah, you guess you were, because I, I can honestly say, other than bits and pieces by a black metal band or a death metal band here and there, throwing in some clean vocals at a part like wherever, for just a few seconds, that, that's been done. But as far as just all clean vocals with like death metal style music, I can't say I know any other band. I'm sure there's somebody else that people are yelling at the screen, what about so-and-so? Well, I haven't heard fucking so-and-so. And probably because I wasn't the goddamn interested. Well, that's what uh, Blood uh, 
the fuck was this goddamn band called? Blood Revolves. It's it sounded like the music was good, and then but the vocals suck shit, ruined it. So, so the dog will not be picking up. So that's my goddamn review on Blood Revolve. Hey, Fago. These were goddamn, um, I think, order questions from a few days ago. Just finally getting around to them because that's all the goddamn pay questions. Uh, from Ryan and Zerta. Answer shit on the, in the comment section on the channel all the time, the time too. Jado, channel question. I do not get along with my brother at all for years since he got married. His wife is cool, but I don't know what happened to him. But he has two daughters whom are my nieces that I want to see and hang with. He's gotten all weird, like, into God and that crap, I think. Dude, there's your problem. I'm telling you, dude. When the fuck are these motherfuckers going to put on goddamn DSI, be educated, and just learn the law of the land, dude? Christ is a scheme and will ruin your life. Get that fucking piece of shit out of your life, and everything will just get my damn better. That goes for fucking all the white light religions, too. Not just all you guys. Oh, yeah, fuck that goddamn Christianity. All your mainstream white light religions, shove them up your ass up here right now. They're all dog shit. Fucking believe in yourself and nobody fucking else. That's all you fucking need. Your life will get way better. Having a goddamn invisible man that you have zero proof exists ruling your life. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Pissing that You're pissing that one chance, one go around the 80 years you get to live on this planet. Just pissing it away. It's like, to me, that's like taking $100 bills and just flushing them down the toilet. Just flushing them down the toilet. Fuck you, fuck you doing, bro. Fuck you doing. That's why I see it. I can give a fuck, but he seems to have a major issue with me now. It's because that JC, man. Get rid of that fuck. So sick of that bastard. I don't know why I never did anything except bust his balls a few times. Dude, not, not only is he in that stupid ass JC that's ruined his goddamn life. Blame it on oh God. Damn fucking straight. Not only is it that, he's a pussy boy. Anybody that gets a fucking, their pussy up in a knot because ball busting. I actually, like I said, in person, it, it, it lets me everything I know about him. Good to know. Don't want to be around. There's people on some of my, some of my uh, family side, too. Not going to mention any goddamn names, particularly one side of the family. I'm not going to say. That's the reason I don't like being around. That's why I don't like going to some of the family functions. I'm like, dude, they're all just stick up the ass. I can't be myself. Dude, if I'm full, unfiltered J-Dog, they'd be appalled. It'd be, oh, you can't say that. Don't talk. There's kids around. If there's any of that censorship shit, I don't want to be around your ass, dude. Because I can't be me. I'm not, I'm not a fucking fake-ass motherfucker. So, okay, let me sit here and stare at the goddamn wall. Let me hear you talk about fucking Wimpvid or, or the weather or politics or is Trump coming up in the wind? Stupid shit. Stupid bitch shit that I don't fucking follow. I have no interest in being around you. He's that category, man. He's going he's to he's gonna say he's not. No, I'm tough. No, I can take it. No, you can't, man. You just showed your true colors. That means don't want your ass anywhere near me. He's one of those people, which is, to his defense, that's fucking 95% of the population. In the metal or not in the metal. That's why my list of people I generally really like or invite into my inner circle is very goddamn small. Very fucking small. You ever been in this situation or have any advice? Thanks, bro. I mean, I've been in the situation to where get the fuck away from me. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a common occurrence. But as far as the situation you're in, because, yeah, he's your brother, and but you want to see your uh, nieces and nephews, I... I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do in that scenario. The only thing I can uh, say is uh, just sit them down like, man, hey, dude, I don't know what your fucking problem is, but if you don't want to talk to me, that's on you, dude. You got a problem, then it's your problem. But at least let me see them because it's at least not good for them. Because especially if they get along with you and you like them and they like you, um, you should be like, yeah, I still want to be in their life. And if you don't want to be in my life, I guess fine. That's that's on you, dude. But at least for them, um, I think you should uh, work around it. Like, hey, maybe just drop them off my house or uh, I'll come by and pick them up, take them to the park, or whatever it is you do, whatever relationship you have with them. And But we don't need to speak. I'll just, just leave them at the front door, that type of shit. That's the only thing I can think of. Now, if he says no because he thinks you're, from what I'm gathering, again, that piece of shit, JC, bastard, this guy crap, he's, quote, well, I'm just making guesses based on the information you gave me, He's thinking you're a bad influence on the kids as well, so that doesn't want your evil presence or negativity, what he's going to word it. So it's just to do facts are not attacks. That's not negative. That's what people say. The dog's negative. Dog's negative. For, I'm negative how? Because I give my opinion on things that I'm asked, generally speaking, <laughs> or because I, I, I'm pointing out things that are that, that a fucking nine-year-old and anybody with a basic education could fucking see. I'm sorry. There is no goddamn... 
master of the universe and sky pointing down at you. You're going to burn for all eternity if you use my name in vain and don't worship me. I mean, come on, dude. For starters, even if you, how can you even believe that? I can't believe a fucking 10 year old would believe that. And even if you do, why would you support that? You said that, that's, yeah, that's fucking Hitler shit right there. Support me. Don't use my name for all. Don't use my name in vain. Support me. Love me. Worship me and no other gods or burn for all eternity. That that's not that's not Adolf Hitler shit. How is it not? It's it's fucking worse technically. That's a selfish piece of shit. So even if he was real, came from the skies and proved that's all real, they says, why the fuck would you support that? I'd be one of the rebels against it. He's the goddamn <laughs> using the masters of the universe thing. He's the goddamn Skeletor. I'd be the motherfucking He Man. I'm rebelling against this motherfucker. He's a piece of shit. Why would you support that? Tells me everything I need to know about you. You're in a sadism. You support fucking uh just fucking bullshit fucking uh, leaders that want to just rule everything and think of nothing about themselves. Well, I, I, don't, I don't partake in that. Fuck him. He's probably uh, over overruled by that. He thinks you're a bad influence. You're going to bring on your evil demons or whatever, or uh, put them in a, uh, you know, skew their, skew their ideology in the ways that they, of yours, not, not what he wants, wants them to fall, which I'm sure is a dumbass fucking Christianity, Catholicism or whatever. Whatever bullshit he follows. In that case, uh, yeah, I mean, he might be fucked because it's his kids, and I don't know if there's anything you can do about it legally. Um, but yeah, I mean, the only thing you do is sit down and sit there and have a heart to heart talk to him. But again, with a, when they're brainwashed like that, man, that's exactly what they are—is goddamn brainwashed. Um, yeah, you can't really talk to these fucking idiots, and that's why I don't like—I don't have debates with Christians or anyone religious or. The politics are just as bad, too, even though I don't follow that. That's why I don't talk about anybody, because once they have their mind made up, it doesn't matter what side they are. I don't care left, right, middle, whatever, up, down, fucking east, north, south. I don't give a fuck. When they're an extremist on any side, you can't change their mind. You can't have a conversation with them. And people are like, well, that's you, J-Dog. No, it's not. I, I, I'm always for a fucking uh, debates and discussions and talk about stuff. Nothing I like more about talking about religion. If somebody has a, a good head on their shoulders, they want to convince me why... God and Christ is the right way and shit like that. And in a, in a non uh, confrontational and non they're going to get heated way. And you want to convert me by all means, go try. But get, I mean, you're going to, you better have some, you better have some goddamn, uh, some proof because I'm not going off just, well, just have faith. That's fucking horse shit, man. That's just going to take somebody's word for it when you can't prove a goddamn motherfucking thing. And again, the shit that you technically your book does say, if you can prove it, I'm like, this is this is Adolf Hitler shit. I, tell, tell me, tell me how it's not. So, I'd be willing to have debates just like that. But most of these fucking brainwashed morons, you can't. They get all defensive, get all pissed off, butt hurts, up in arms, argumentative, cancel you, fucking whatever the fuck, yelling, screaming. I don't do any of that shit. So, if he's in that category, the only thing I can say is you're probably fucked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or you can ask somebody that's smarter than I am, which is not hard to fucking find. So you can ask that person too. Comes with surgeon, you know what we're gonna do. Put the combat skin in the morning. Later, goddammit.